Hey, it's La Carina Ministries, private and personal chef services are we're praying with you. Delivering kingdom business, what's the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name. Yes, we have reached year three in being victorious with Christ Jesus. And this year, we are diving into Romans 8. We will be having live videos of me doing the run and us praying we have to have to keep praying in all that we do that's the only way we get to access christ jesus and all the things that he has for us here on earth remember that we are running a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay amen a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay and I pray that this year blesses you. And this year we are wearing our armor and we are remembering Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Ephesians 6, 10 to 20 as we continue to remember Romans 8. And Romans 8, we'll be praying that into our lives as we continue to give God glory for all that he's done and all that he's going to continue to do. Amen. Now, you guys be great and enjoy these prayers. These prayers are for you to build your prayer life with Christ. And they are blessing me too. Um, I ask God to fill me up so that I can overflow into all that he's called me to be. I am not perfect, but through Christ who strengthened us, that's where my strength comes from. I pray that your strength comes from there as well. Wear the full armor and live in the spirit in just one moment we will be praying romans 8 into our lives i don't know what chapter it is for for whatever day it is but for now we will be reading romans 8 Romans 8 tells us life in the spirit how are we to conduct ourselves living in the spirit the holy spirit amen and that's what we aim to do here on this platform we serve the father and no one else on this platform we serve christ and no one else on this platform we serve the holy spirit and no one else now come on in and tap in into being victorious with Christ Jesus. You have no other victory if you don't have Christ Jesus. So that's why we claim victory in Christ Jesus. That's why we keep being victorious with Christ Jesus. Here on this platform, who do we serve? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and no one else. Please stay tuned for the videos. Our TikTok, we have a prayer every um, for the whole year in the book for Power of Prayer. And you guys can um, tap into that too. You guys can tap into, you know, my Facebook and Instagram and also my YouTube channel. So now you guys be great. And as we continue to celebrate and commemorate God for all that he's done for us and all that he's going to continue to do for us, we will dwell in these readings and prayers. Now, you keep bringing great, like Eileen Ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with you, delivering kingdom business, what's the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name, and know you are loved, and you can be taught the word of God, and you can understand the word of God, as long as you put the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the mix, you will not fail. So, may God's grace cover you. May God's wisdom cover you. May God's strength cover you. May God's word cover you. May God's strength cover you when you are weak. So you will know that the only true strength comes from the Most High. Now, let's get into prayer. Romans 8. Let's be great. Romans 8 verse 16. And the Spirit himself speaks to our spirits and makes us sure that we are God's children and the spirit himself speaks to our spirits and makes sure that we are God's children our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive our debts as we forgive our debts as it is not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Get her milk. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. It is not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. It is not to temptation. But to the rest from evil, for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but to the rest from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Heavenly Father, we come before you because... And the Spirit himself speaks to our spirits and makes us sure that we are God's children. Make us sure that we are God's children. So, Father God, I pray that when the Holy Spirit speaks to our hearts, Father God, uh, we the, the Holy Spirit is sure that we are God's children with the way we respond, with the way we react, with the way we be, and all the things that you have called us to be as we cry out your name, Abba, Father, to transform us to Moses and shape us into what you call us to be. And, Father God, when you transform us and mold us and shape us, it's not the easiest thing, but, Father God, we must die to self so that you may arise in us in the name of Jesus. As the Holy Spirit speaks to us, you may arise in us in the name of Jesus through the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus for paying this high price so that the Spirit Himself speaks to our spirits and makes us sure that we are God's children. And Father God, for that we thank you. We thank you for the gift of grace, the gift of mercy, and the gift of the Holy Spirit that has come to comfort us in each and every single thing that we face in this life. Thank you, Father God, that you continue to make a way out of no way. It is in you that we move and have our being. It is in you that we can be transformed. It is in you that we can be molded. It is in you that we can be shaped so we can be the best versions of ourselves in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, that we get to have a strength to cry out, Father. And when we cry out, Father, the Spirit Himself speaks to our spirit so that we that makes us sure that we are God's children. Father God, I pray that we stand in certainty that we are God's children as we allow God's word to do with us what we can never do ourselves. To allow God's word to manifest in ways that it only can manifest. To allow God's word to bring out the best version in us in the name of Jesus. To allow God's word to move and breathe in us the way it's supposed to move and breathe in us to bring us back to life. Father God, he says that your word is the way, the truth, and the life. Not only is your son the way, the truth, and the life, but the word is the way, the truth, and the life that will lead us into the, the, the things that you have called us to be for such a time as this. Father God and the Spirit himself speaks to our spirits and makes us sure that we are God's children, to make us sure that we are God's children, to make us sure that we are choosing life and life and peace in the name of Jesus and making sure we are choosing wisdom and wisdom only in Christ Jesus Father God thank you thank you for this wisdom that has uh, attacked our lives since the beginning of time the wisdom that calls out to us every single day the wisdom that stands there and wait for us to acknowledge his presence the wisdoms that stay there and rise up within us Father God that wisdom we cry out Father give us the wisdom the knowledge understanding that we need in order for us to get through this life knowing that you are here knowing that you are creating 
each and every opportunity to work out for our good in the name of Jesus. Get her milk if you please. Get it out of her bed. You have no rival. You have no equal now and forever. Now and forever. You reign. 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 You reign, Father God, now and forever. You reign. You reign, Father God. You reign in our lives. You reign in our finances. You reign in our children. You reign in our husbands. You reign in our wives. You reign in our workplace. You reign in our school place. You reign whenever we go to or from wherever we have to go. Father God, you reign and there is no one like you that would do the things you do, Father God. That would do the things you do, Father God. That would do the things you do, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for allowing us to stand here at your feet knowing that we are sinners knowing that we need this grace knowing that we need this mercy but father god you stand here and the spirit himself speaks to our spirits to make us sure we have to make us sure that we are god's children we have to make us sure that we are calling on the name of jesus we have to be sure that we are certain that is the eternal life that the um john three sixteen promises that's what we're looking after father god thank you Thank you that only you have given us this chance from the beginning of time to be set apart for such a time as this. Thank you, Father God, that is in you that we move and breathe. Thank you, that that is in you that we get to be stretched to our fullest potential. Thank you, Father God, that is in you that we have joy, love, peace, and everything that you've called us to be for such a time as this. Thank you, Father God, that is in you that we get to release the things that we need to release in order for you to have your way in us in the name of Jesus. Father God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming into our lives and being the greatest versions of ourselves through you, through the blood that was shed for us. And Father God, thank you for it all. As we remember, and the Spirit himself speaks to our spirits to make us sure that we're God's children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Like I need ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with who? Yes, you. Delivering kingdom business, but to the world, what, what, period, in Christ Jesus' name. We are reading Romans 8 so that we can be great. To God be the glory. There is no other story. Amen. Now, let's be great with Romans 8. You be blessed. You are loved. You are able to follow God's law. And if you refuse it, be you're really not able to obey it so that makes you against God and we don't want to be against God we want to be for the things of God so that our spirit man can rise up like I Lily Ministries private and personal chef services and we're praying with you delivering kingdom business what's the world what what's period in Christ Jesus name on this platform we serve God and no one else on this platform we serve Jesus and no one else on this platform we serve Holy Spirit and no one else like Eileen Ministries say what Romans 8